Hello student, in this video, we'll be using the Revolve tool to create our 3D part model. All right, so before beginning, let's ensure that you have opened up the Revolve tool with full Revolve, number one, and number two, the Revolve Extend Angle. Let's start with number one. Okay, for the task here, we are creating a full revolution about a center line here. Okay, so in this sketch itself, there's no center line about here. So we need to enter into the sketch number one and change this to a center line. So therefore, we can create a full revolve. Go into the model browser, double click on the icon of sketch number one. Next, click on this projected axis and select center line here. Take note, when we have converted this axis as a center line, every dimensions now with respect to that center line will be given in diameter. So press the escape key to exit it from the dimension tool. Highlight these two and the third one third dimensions and delete them. We will apply the new dimensions here. So here to here, 120. Here to here will be 240. And lastly, from here to here will be diameter 420. Next, let's click Finish Sketch and click Revolve. With doing so, Inventor automatically identify what is the profile and at the same time, what is the axis of revolution. So for this case, we are performing a full revolution. So press OK. We have completed the first example of the Revolve tool. Now moving on, let's go to the Revolve Extend Angle. So when applying the Revolve tool, Instead of just applying a full revolve, we can also extend it to a certain angle. In this example, we'll be applying the revolve tool at 225 degrees. So let's begin by clicking the revolve tool again. Uh, since the axis, the center lines have been all set up, Inventor will automatically select the profile in the axis. But for this case, the angle, let's change it 225. Now, since the profile starts here, the sketch actually begins here, we can actually change the direction and you will notice a little bit of difference here and there. So from here, go all the way in this motion, it's actually 222 degrees, uh, 225 degrees, and we will flip the direction, it will just go on the opposite side. And we can also actually click on symmetry where it will just take 225 divided by two and they equally extend this angle by the amount. And then we can just press okay. We have successfully applied the revolve tool on your 3D part modeling. 